Hi, I'm James. Hi, I'm Deidre, and we're renovating a 1974 pop-up truck camper. It's been quite a fun little project, and uh, we're actually very excited to be on the homeward stretch of taking it out and trying it on its first excursion in some beautiful crown land at Round Lake, Ontario. Um, so today, we're in the video, we're going to show you how we... Uh, worked on the canvas and did some structural stuff outside. The canvas was a little bit of a snag because we needed to get it ordered in the summer and we couldn't because of COVID. So we're just getting it now. It's been a fun little project. Hope you guys enjoy it. It's gotten a little bit chilly out. So we put the camper in the garage so we can have warmer conditions to work on it. mechanism somebody had rigged up here to lift this but what we're doing right now is taking uh, all this old junk off and we're gonna construct something new to lift this top that's what's gonna happen and uh, I don't know I know I can figure it out it's gonna be sketch a little bit sketch Okay, so between neutrals, we've uh, made the brackets for the pop-up camper roof. Um, it's not the simplest way of doing it, but uh, it's going to be the most cost-efficient, uh, cost-effective, efficient way to do it. Okay, so what was done here was the old pop-up mechanism was very, very worn out and unusable. And what we did was actually just put the poles and uh, on a hinge on the top, they articulate and go back and forth and whatever, so that we could lift the top, the front, and we could lock the pins in and then the back and lock the pins in, which worked very, very well. It was a very simple way of doing it. Um, it's not easy like the new modern ones, but it does work very well and uh, was very, very simple to make. Put up the, put up the skirt and see what it looks like. With the snaps? Yeah. Snapping them all along the roof? Yeah. And then they'll snap on the outside yeah. when it's all hung. This canvas was what we were waiting on all summer. And we finally got it back. So we're on the final leg. It's gonna be a big job to get all the snaps on along the side. We didn't put any windows in the canvas. We wanted to um, put it all up and see if we had enough light with the window and the door and the window at the kitchen table and the little window at the front of the camper. Um, if it isn't enough light, we can always have um, them put in afterwards. We're installing all the snaps on the inside of the roof and then all the snaps installed on the outside of the bottom. The graphics are really rough on this little camper and it's starting to peel away and crack. So I'm taking all the big chunks off and smoothing it down as best as I can. And we've got a rocker panel graphic kit that we're going to install on it. Reinstalling the old light fixtures with the um, LED bulbs. Yeah. Exactly. All the caulking needs to re be replaced on the gray water outlet, the fresh water intake and the water hookup intake. So I'm scraping all of that off um, and we're going to put uh, new caulking on them. This is the rocker panel kit that we picked up at Canadian Tire. It was in a blowout clearance rack for $24 a piece. Uh, we picked up two of them and I think that's gonna complete our project. This old truck camper is not very straight or level, so it took a little bit of wrangling, but we got it straight and it's gonna look fabulous.
we do a lot of off-grid and crown land camping and my husband does a lot of hunting so the camouflage fits in perfect with this type of style of camper for us placing the ugly hooks with some really nice fancy good hooks Aluminum shrimp, making it uh, sexy. Finishes it off yeah. a lot nicer. All the graphics are on, the aluminum trim is installed, and it's all finished. I'm going to freshen up all of the uh, outlets with this epoxy appliance spray paint. It's really durable and it'll hold up in the um, extreme weather and it'll make it look a lot fresher and brighter. Well here what I'm doing is uh, just putting some Proflex caulking around some of the new pieces we put on to keep the water from leaching in and possibly causing some damage. Um, once again we're putting some Proflex RV caulking around uh, the, that's the electrical inlet um, outlet place to uh, where all our power cords come through so is that uh, no water gets in and uh, causes any damage. We've uh, worked real hard at this little bugger. We're installing all new reflectors on the front of the camper and up at the top of the roof. Replacing all the screws on all the vents too. We put some spray foam all along this opening here because this is where we're going to be sleeping and we want to make sure we can keep as much cold out as we can. So we did the spray foam insulation and it filled it in really well. We ordered some marine carpet and we're going to put it all along the edge of the wooden um, support on the bunk. Uh, it will keep it a lot warmer up there when we're sleeping and it'll be nice and cozy. Drop that hurts. The camper is all packed up. We're ready to do a road trip and uh, give it a trial run. We found a beautiful spot to set up for the night. We're going to start a bonfire, cook some supper, and enjoy the evening. Supper cooking on the campfire, and then the storm rolled in. High winds and lots of rain. Well, it wasn't a failure, but I am going to tell you something. It was fucking windy. And uh, it was darn windy, and uh, wow. We had a mouse, too, something that was chewing in the side, a chipmunk or something, and so wife was all scared. It's going to take another night tonight to really tell the tale of the pop-up trailer but uh, we're heading back uh, more east to uh, try a different spot about a hundred kilometers from here and uh, it's actually snowed this morning 
a little chilly, but we're warm in here. It's nice. Venus. James has cooked a nice breakfast after a wild night in a rain and windstorm. Okay, so you can see our camping trip was a success. Um, we still have some work to do on the inside. So our next episode hopefully will be the final roundup of the pop-up trailer done. How many snaps? A lot of snaps. How many? I don't know, I didn't count them, but there was way too many snaps. There's like drill and snap, drill and snap, drill and snap. It was like crazy. The canvas was awesome too. A lot of snaps. A lot of snaps. A lot of snaps. I snapped because of so many snaps. Fly the fucking iPhones. What do you think, babe? Is that what you want to say? Sure. Done. Pop up camper. Pop up camper. Pop up. Okay. Pop up. Amazing! No, it's not. It is all rosy posy and, you know, we're uh, putting one button in and another button. Anymore, you can't. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Peace! That's stupid. 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 You talk too much.